Do you consider the historical HV against the implied volatility when you enter a trade, like the VRP in the SPY? For instance, when the 22-day HV is greater than the IV, you pass the trade. So short answer, yes. Volatility risk premium is important. It is one of our metrics. VRP, for anybody who doesn't know, is essentially implied volatility minus realized volatility. So the VIX index is a 30-day forward implied volatility, but it's a calendar measure. So it's basically counting all the days. There's 21 trading days in a month on average. So it's essentially a 21-day implied volatility minus the 20-day historical volatility. Close enough, this is what's called the volatility risk premium. And the theory goes that because forward-looking is more uncertain, of course, traders are going to need to get paid a little bit of a premium to be taking on future Future trades. So the implied volatility in a calm market should probably be higher than the historical realized volatility because that's the way that volatility should work in a calm market. So that would be a good signal to take trades, right? But what I do is I go a little bit further. I design my own VRP, which I call the trader's VRP, which is much more specific to what I'm actually doing here. So I actually show people exactly how to calculate it. If you want it, it's there. It's there, and then it's here as well. You can actually calculate it yourself, but what it essentially is is a slight variation. So it's a five-day weighted moving average of the VX30, not the VIX. The VX30 is the constant rolling 30-day maturity of the front two months of the VIX futures. So I like to use that because it's far more specific to volatility products. And then we're going to subtract a rolling five-day HV. And the trader's VRP is really good because it's basically a signal for risk on, risk off. You can see, if it's above zero, what is it right now today? Above zero, it's 1.66. So no real reason not to be in the market with equities right now, basically. And we are, we're in the NASDAQ, the Dow, and the S&P 500. But if the trader's VRP dips below zero, that's definitely a warning sign that the market is showing signs of weakness. So you might wanna exit to cash or use it in combination with multiple other metrics. But you can see I did a super simple test, just proof of concept basically here, where just using that one single metric, just the trader's VRP and nothing else, if it's above zero, you're long the SPY, and if it's below zero, you're in cash. So 87% of the time, you'd be in the trade, S&P 500, and 13% of the time, you'd be in cash. Buy and hold is here. Using that simple one metric filter, you can actually improve the performance substantially. I mean, it might not seem like much, but the difference between 8.3 and 9.5, it's about 15% difference. That's significant. And also the drawdown goes from 55 for buy and hold down to 37 for using that one single filter. Now, of course, for me, we use tons of filters. You know, the volatility barometer uses about 13 different filters. So we can do far better than this. It's just a proof of concept. But the point is that, yes, this is actually a very good signal. And when the VRP dips negative, it is a sign that there's something maybe fundamentally wrong or at the very least dangerous with the current market. No rational investor can watch their net worth go down 55% and still stay the course. It's just absurd. This is why I always tell people no rational investor just holds 100% of their net worth in the stock market. Nobody can watch half their money disappear and they can just go to sleep and wake up the next day and continue the process. They will absolutely capitulate and they will leave, right? So at least getting it to 37 is moving in the right direction. But uh, to answer your question there, yes, absolutely. VRP is a great signal. It's not my favorite. You know, if I had to rank them, obviously the barometer is by far the best. Number two is the cash fix oscillator, but traders VRP is, is definitely a good signal. So for an extensive volatility metrics dashboard updated daily and to see all of the live trades for our tactical rotation and option strategies, click this link right here and claim your free trial to the VTS community. You're always welcome to join us anytime. See you next time.